Jeff, how can you describe the mood in the locker room for you guys right now? As we're really excited. You know, we just are. Uh, we, we've been working hard. We played good again. And uh, that's a tough team. They're a good football team. They're well coached. And uh, our kids were just, you know, our defense was so dominant up front tonight. Uh, offensively, we were really good. You know, I, I got real conservative there in the fourth quarter. We were up 19. They'd only scored three, actually. We threw the pick six off the, off the tip. It was, and the screen was there. Uh, we, the kid got up and made a great play. And uh, our, our special teams were fantastic. What Lucas Dean did tonight was just amazing. Uh, that was the number one punt return in the country. And uh, Lucas just put him down. What were the biggest things defensively that allowed you guys to have the level of success that you had? Uh, just our, they're up front, tackling, just our physicality. Play a lot of kids, it's hot and humid, and we, we kept them fresh. And, and the kids have gotten better. I know September, we're, the, we're still the sorry team in September. We need everybody to keep telling us that. Because uh, we're a hungry, uh, ticked off team that practices really hard every day. Did you expect that there would be some matchups up front that you guys could exploit and create the level? No, of those guys are five returning starters up front. They'd execute at a very high level. They got a really good quarterback, a good tailback, two good receivers. We, we really expected this game to be, you know, 20-something, 20-something, 30-something, 30-something. What's been the difference in these games where the defense has played at such a high level versus some of the ones where maybe it hasn't been as strong? you see something that stands out? Uh, no, I just know that we're playing really well right now. I'm going to stay in that lane. What's it mean to be 3-0 in the conference and have all three wins for 15 plus points? Uh, it means we've won three and number four is next. So that's whoever's next, I don't know who we got next. I guess it's East Carolina, right? I think. Yeah, I hadn't even looked. I really, we've all been on this one. And we'll go to the next one uh, tomorrow when we get home. We talked a lot about number one through the week and what he brought to the table. What did it take to sort of limit him the way you did? Anything special? Uh, no, we knew where he was, obviously, and we had a lot of calls and tendencies to him, but uh, nothing special. We just played football. Was there anything that changed after the opening drive? That was the only time that they moved the ball against you guys at all, and then from there it was like completely shut down. You know, they hit the corner right on us in the end zone. Uh, they hit the cross country right on us, had a good call. You know, we were in cover one. And, which we give up inside leverage on that, and they run the old cross country, which they run a million times. The quarterback did a great job of completing the thing. Um, we just, you know, we, we stay calm and we make adjustments, and we keep, even though it doesn't look like it sometimes, we keep coaching our tail off on that sideline. Frank had the two interceptions with bounce back to have a pretty clean game. Yeah, neither one of those are him. Uh, we busted a route on the outside, total MA on the receiver. I'm not pulling my freshman under the bus, but he is a freshman, and I love him, recruited him my entire life. So, uh, and then. Uh, you know, the screen, which was a great call, and it was there. We were fixing the gash on and the defensive end made a hell of a play. You know, he got up from the cut, tipped it, the defensive tackle caught it. It, it. It's the game of football. When you try to when you try to score, sometimes you make mistakes. It's interesting because he went right back to McHugh and knocked down the sideline on the next drive, I think, right? For an unbelievable play, great point. I mean, we ran a sky down there on the sideline. What an unbelievable catch on that sideline. Uh, and they had the targeting as well, so that was about a 60-yard play. Are these performances any more gratifying because of the slow start and some of the things that it took? Probably, because I, I really think people take this stuff for granted, and uh, we never have. We know how hard it is, but uh, you know we got a pretty spoiled fan base and pretty spoiled media. So uh, <laughs> I, you know we're used to winning a lot, and I think it humbled everybody, and uh, it makes you appreciate things that maybe you didn't quite before. What does it take to keep rolling at this level and to, to maintain what you've started here? Uh, just to just stay angry and keep practicing every day and just keep getting better. And uh, sometimes things go your way, and sometimes they don't. You just can't, you can't lose faith in what we believe in. That 2-1-0 triangle of toughness, our culture, our brand, we don't lose faith in it. We really mean that. I, I wish you could go back and watch every fourth quarter of every one of these games. And we're as, as, as bad as we were in Tennessee. You look around, every kid's got a triangle up. Every coach has got it up. Those kids believe in what we do, and we believe in them. It seems like you guys came through this game without taking any serious injuries. And we got some MRIs we're still looking at. Uh, Hope, I think you're right, though. We'll have to see. We think we came out okay. What about JT? I know you said during the week you might know as the week went on. What's the latest there? We'll know more next week. We'll what? know more next week. Yeah, you know, we'll just know more. Anything else that stood out about this game to you? How about the running game? Uh, Lucas Dean. I don't know if I mentioned that already. I, I know I mentioned I mean, he was the number one punt return in the country. Right. And Lucas did an amazing job of uh, hitting it so high and so far away from him. And his sky punts, I mean, I thought that was as big of, of anything in the game. Our D-line and tackling them, and then our ability to tackle the, their punt return because of the great job Lucas punted the ball. And then our offense just making timely drives. And again, I'll own our spitter sputtering in the fourth quarter just for us trying to basically go four minutes uh, in the third quarter. Thank y'all. God bless.